This is an example video for half angle identities problem type 1. In order to use the half angle identities properly, you must first know which quadrant you are working in. The quadrants are labeled with 1 starting in the top right region and then counting up by 1 when filling in the quadrants counterclockwise. Here is a helpful trick to remember which trigonometric function is positive in each quadrant. Just remember all students take calculus. A means that all trigonometric functions are positive in quadrant 1. S means that only sine is positive, which also means its inverse cosecant is positive in quadrant 2. T means that tangent and its inverse cotangent are positive in quadrant 3. And does C in quadrant 4 mean that cosine is positive there? Yes, exactly which means that secant, cosine's inverse, is also positive in quadrant 4. Now that we have reviewed the quadrants, let's move on to an example problem. Use a half-angle formula to find the exact value of cosine of 5 pi over 8. To solve this, we will need the half-angle formulas. Does the plus or minus symbol in the formulas mean that we will get two answers? Great question. In this case, the symbol is deceiving. It actually means that we must choose the appropriate sign for the problem, given which quadrant the angle is in. For our problem, 5 pi over 8 is in quadrant 2. How did you know 5 pi over 8 is in quadrant 2? I know that pi corresponds to the negative x-axis, and 5 pi over 8 is less than pi. Therefore, I know this angle must be in either quadrant 1 or 2. Pi over 2 corresponds to the positive y-axis. 5 pi over 8 is greater than pi over 2, so we know that it must be in quadrant 2. We are asked to find the cosine of the angle, so we know that we must use this formula. Based on your knowledge of quadrants and trigonometric functions, will the cosine half-angle formula have a positive or negative sign? All students take calculus. This means that sine is only positive in quadrant 2, so cosine must be negative. Will we use the negative sign? Yes, we will. I liked your use of the trick that was presented earlier. Great work! To find cosine of 5 pi over 8, we need to get 5 pi over 8 in the same form as u over 2. If we set these equal to each other and solve for u, we get that u is equal to 5 pi over 4. Now we can substitute u into the half angle identity formula for cosine and write cosine of 5 pi over 4 over 2 equals negative square root of 1 plus cosine of 5 pi over 4 all over 2. Using the unit circle, what is cosine of 5 pi over 4? Negative square root of 2 over 2. Substituting negative square root of 2 over 2, we write negative square root of 1 plus negative square root of 2 over 2 all over 2 which simplifies to negative square root of 1 minus square root of 2 over 2 all over 2. Now we multiply the fraction underneath the radical by 2 over 2. We do this because when we look ahead, we know that we would prefer to have a 4 in the denominator since it is a perfect square. This simplifies to negative square root of 2 minus square root of 2 all over 4. Using the properties of radicals, we can separate the numerator and denominator into separate square roots, which simplifies to negative square root of 2 minus square root of 2 all over 2. This is as simple as this fraction can get. Therefore, cosine of 5 pi over 8 is equal to negative square root of 2 minus square root of 2 all over 2. You might be wondering why we would choose to use the half angle identity for this problem. When we see that we are required to find the trig function of 5 pi over 8, we search our memory for the unit circle. We find that there are no angles involving the unit circle that are 5 pi over 8, so our standard identities cannot be used. We look further and we find that we can do the first few steps shown in the work above and find that 5 pi over 8 can be written as 5 pi over 4 over 2.
Now we can see that the half angle identity can be used here if we let u equals 5 pi over 4. And, of course we know that the unit circle shows us facts that we can use in connection with fractions with pi in the numerator and 4 in the denominator.